The plan we bring forward next Tuesday contains 20 sites in Tier 1, 15 of them publicly owned or controlled sites. We add those 20 new sites to the existing new facilities that um, are still, some which are still in construction, like the WX Sprung Shelter. We are going to create annual capacity with just the new sites, with just the new sites, for 3, 000, over 3,600 people. When we add the existing new facilities, like the WX Shelter, we will add another 1,000 plus people that we will be able to help. Bottom line, because I want to get you to the bottom line. When we take the 20 sites, we add them to the new facilities that have already been approved that we are either creating or have just been created. When we add a placeholder for a large campus, and while I'm not able to report to you with specificity a location and a site at this point, I will tell you we are making great progress in identifying a potential site for a large campus facility in collaboration, by the way, with our county partners. When we add prior, these 20 priority sources, existing new facilities, a large campus, a commitment to six motel conversions within the city, in addition using our motel voucher program, our housing voucher program and a scattered site approach, we believe that we can intervene with 9,820 people in a single year. That means helping almost 10,000 people end, begin ending their state of homelessness. If we implement this plan with the same urgency, with the same, with the same passion, with the same fidelity that has gone into my colleagues and the community and my team, developing this plan and bringing it forward for a vote next Tuesday.